This video is a very brief summary of DNA profiling, otherwise known as DNA fingerprinting, geared towards the Irish Leaving Cert. DNA profiling means generating a pattern of bands from a DNA sample. So really this means isolating or extracting a sample of DNA, cutting it up into fragments and creating a unique pattern that can be used for comparison or analysis. In many textbooks, DNA profiling is usually associated with humans. However, in 2014, there was a question where DNA profiling was associated with meat contamination. In DNA profiling, the DNA that's actually used to create the pattern is non-coding DNA. This is the DNA that does not code for a particular protein. This is a very short topic and it's really easy to do well in it. Just describe what a DNA profile is and the steps involved in creating it. Step number one, release or isolate the DNA from the sample. Step number two, cut the DNA into fragments using restriction enzymes. Step number three, the fragments are then separated on the basis of size. Gel electrophoresis is often used to separate the fragments. So this is a gel which has an electric current running through it. The samples are loaded into these wells and the smallest fragments move fastest. Step number four, the final step, the fragments create a pattern which then can be used for comparison or analysis. So this is a diagram of a DNA profile and you will encounter these on your exam papers. So those steps are the DNA is released or isolated. It's then cut into fragments using restriction enzymes. Don't forget restriction enzymes. These fragments are then separated on the basis of size and a pattern is created for analysis or comparison. So what are the applications of DNA profiling? It's used in forensic science and it also has a medical application, for example, in paternity testing. Not forgetting, of course, that 2014 question where it was used to identify the presence of horse meat in products labelled as beef. In some exam questions, you could be asked to read a DNA profile. You simply just compare the bands. Remember, with any topic, it's a good idea to review recent past exam papers, check for any marking scheme changes, wording and definitions, etc. Best of luck.